classification of viruses. So currently over 2800 different viral species are present with different properties. In 1970s, Nobel laureate David Baltimore dwelt when classification scheme for viruses called Baltimore classification system. In this system, Baltimore categorizes viruses based on the type of nucleic acid genome present and replication strategy of the virus. This system also breaks down single standard RNA viruses into two categories. One that are positive strand and other with negative strand. Positive strand RNA is able to be immediately translated into proteins, the mRNA in the cell. On the other hand, negative strand RNA is not translatable into proteins. It first has to be transcribed into positive strand RNA. So total seven classes of viruses are there. Class one, double stranded DNA viruses. Then single stranded DNA viruses, double stranded RNA viruses, positive sense single stranded RNA viruses, negative sense single stranded RNA viruses, RNA viruses that reverse transcribe and DNA viruses that reverse transcribe, right? Here in this picture, you can see different types of viruses, DNA viruses and RNA viruses. DNA viruses further divided into two types single stranded RNA, uh, sorry, DNA viruses and double stranded DNA viruses, right? Similarly, in the case of RNA viruses, single stranded RNA viruses and double stranded RNA viruses. Single stranded RNA viruses further divided into two types, single stranded RNA negative and single stranded RNA positive. Other ways to classify viruses are Virion size, capsid structure, type of nucleic acid, physical properties, host species, and disease caused. Here, important to note that viruses, since they are not alive, belong to a completely separate system that doesn't fall under the tree of life. Whereas a living organism is classified using domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species, viruses are only classified using order, family, genus, and species. Right? So, first classification, which is based on the presence of nucleic acid. Two types of viruses are there on the basis of uh, the presence of nucleic acid, DNA virus and RNA virus. DNA, DNA virus having DNA as its genetic material. There are two different types of DNA viruses. Single stranded DNA virus, for example, uh, parvoviruses and econoviruses, right? Double stranded DNA virus, example, adenovirus and herpes virus. Similarly, RNA viruses, having RNA as its genetic material. So two different types of RNA viruses are there. Double-stranded RNA virus, for example, rheovirus, and single-stranded RNA virus, uh, which is further classified into two, positive sense RNA and negative sense RNA. Examples are poliovirus, uh, hepatitis A, rabies, influenza virus, etc. Next classification based on the structure or symmetry. This classification is based on different shapes and symmetry of the virus. Complex virus, for example, pox virus, eicosahedral symmetry shaped virus, example, rheovirus, spiral shaped or helical symmetry virus, for example, paramyxovirus, orthomyxovirus, etc. Third classification based on the replication properties and site of replication. Replication within the cytoplasm of the host cell. For example, all RNA viruses except influenza virus, right? Then 
replication within the nucleus and the cytoplasm of the host. Here example, influenza virus and pox virus, etc. Replication within the nucleus of the host cell. All DNA viruses comes under this category except pox virus. Replication of virus through the double stranded DNA intermediate. For example, all DNA viruses, retrovirus, and some tumor causing RNA virus. Replication of the virus through a single stranded RNA intermediate. For example, all RNA viruses except rheovirus and tumor causing RNA viruses. Classification based on host range. Here, four types of viruses are there on the basis of host range. Animal viruses, plant viruses, bacteriophage, and insect virus. Animal viruses such as influenza virus, mumps virus, rabies virus, polio virus, herpes virus, all type of the virus that infect animal, right? Plant viruses include potato virus, tobacco mosaic virus, beet yellow virus, turnip yellow virus, and cauliflower mosaic virus, etc. Similarly, bacteriophage, the virus which infect bacterial cell, right? Such as DNA virus, MV11, RNA virus, and lambda phage. Similarly, the virus that infect insect are called insect virus. Examples, escovirus, uh, virions, and ento, entomopox virus. Next, classification is based on the mode of transmission. How the virus are transmitted from one host to another host cell, right? So, mode of transmission. On the basis of mode of transmission, viruses are of five types. Number one, airborne infection. Here, transmission of virus through the air. Examples, swine flu virus and rhinovirus. Similarly, fecal oral route. Here, transmission of virus through the contaminated water or food. Examples are hepatitis A virus, polio virus, rotavirus, etc. Third category is sexually transmitted diseases. Example, retrovirus and human papilloma virus, right? Next is transfusion transmitted infections. Here, transmission of the virus through the blood transfusion. Examples of this kind of viruses are hepatitis B virus, human immunodeficiency virus, etc. And the last category is zoonosis. Transmission of a virus here is through biting of infected animal, birds, and insect to human. Examples are rabies virus, alpha virus, and uh, flavivirus, Ebola virus, etc. Now, on the basis of whatever we have studied, classification of viruses, what type of the person can be asked? It's like Baltimore classification system can be asked. Positive strand RNA and negative strand RNA. Or seven classes of viruses can also be asked. 